Okay, so I'm going to make another tutorial um, just about how to make an overlay. Uh, so that's the textures here. Um, this is the island landscape that I did before. Um, it looks a bit better though because I um, fixed some stuff. But yeah, so let's go back to device view, uh, delete this one. Oop, what happened? Yeah, yeah. So when we look at it again, it's just you know the normal um, textures landscape. Uh, take this down. Okay. So first we want to make an empty macro. Uh, let's go into it. Um, so first we want to make. Uh, some ports. Pretty much just these are just the default ones. Uh, this one will normally just set to height field, but this one we want to set it to a bitmap image. Um, then we want some this thing. I don't even know what this is. Oh, so this is just names and stuff. So we can just get rid of that. It does pretty much nothing. We don't really need it at all at the moment. Um, this, however, is the macro parameters. Uh, so let's just think. Um, so first, we can start off with beach height. Uh, next, what else is there? Maybe cliff. Um, strength or something like that. Uh, yeah, we'll just stick with those ones because we don't really need water at the moment. Um, so first we want to start off with um. Oh no! What do I want? Okay, hang on, let's go back to the top level um, and let's just actually join this up. So it's got no textures at the moment, so let's go back into it. Um, first, we want to add some actual grass type color. Let's go to color generator. Uh, let's just pick a grass color. So, um, yep, I think that looks alright. Let's just add it to our macro out. Let's take a look again. And yeah, so we've just got this green color. Uh, it looks kind of sickly green, so maybe I might change that. But um, that's pretty much. Uh, the base texture that we use, base color. Um, no, I'll just change this. That's probably better. Yeah. Um, next, we want the beach color. So let's go to color generator again, and let's see what's the beach color. Probably about this. That looks right. Um, now to set this up, we want to add a height selector, select height, um, and we want to put the uh, the height thing through that. Um, then we want to go to output. No, we want to go to Combiner and add this one here, the Chooser. And add these two colors together and have the Select Height at the bottom. Oh, oh another thing is we can add that this to our, yeah, our Beach Height. Um, let's see, what does that look like? Yeah, that's pretty much what we want actually, but we want to maybe change this a bit. Yeah, looks right. So then let's take a look. Oops. Let's 
go back to our overlay. Um, lock preview. Oops. Go to our macro and let's see what the beach height does. Okay, yeah, so let's add in the beach height. Uh, that seems to look okay at the moment. Next, oops. Okay, then go back to the macro. Um, let's just, let's see. What else do we want? Okay, now we want the cliffs. We've got the cliffs up here, cliff strength. We want to go to select it and go to select slope. Um, put that height map going through it. Uh, I don't really like using the sand color as a cliff color, so I'm going to make another color generator. Um, let's just, I quite like a reddish brownie kind of cliff color. Maybe, oh, maybe a bit more orange. Mm. Maybe like that. It looks okay. Um, so then we get another chooser uh, and feed this color through it and add these together. Also, don't forget to add the maximum to this. Let's just take a look. Um, I want to see. I want to see a mask. Ah, oh, whoops, sorry, I've still got this preview thing on. Let's just turn this off. Let's go back to the macro. Um, oh, hang on. So, with the white stuff, in this, select, this one here, you can see all, all the white. That's where all the beach will go, all the sand. This one's where all the cliffs will go. Now, we don't want the cliffs to go here because that looks silly so it means there's something not right here so let's just let's see what that looks like Now I think, uh, I think what that's doing is it's adding all the cliffs to flat surfaces, which is the opposite of what we want. So let's go back to the macro and just invert it, I think. And that should be... more or less what we want. So let's go out. Let's go back to this. And yeah, that's pretty much the how to make an overlay. Yep, so you can see you've got that grass, you've got the cliffs, and you've got the beach. So yeah, um, hopefully that was helpful. Um, thanks for watching. Other things you can do is maybe just save it as whatever you want. Uh, so you just... How do I do that? So I think we go... Yeah, save device to library. So then you just you know give it a name, blah, blah, blah and save it i think you give it a name here actually you see the name yep but yeah uh hope that was a good tutorial it's pretty basic but uh you know you can, you can it kind of gets you started i mean you can do things like maybe um maybe there's the beach at the lowest you've got maybe dark kind of marshy grass um quite low maybe you know because it maybe gets more moisture more moisture gets to it um Maybe a kind of fade, uh, get your cliffs, have them different colors at different heights. So maybe more snowy at the top, more of a, a fade at the top. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Oh, another thing, maybe even, maybe even darker sand where maybe water's hit it, things like that. Uh, yeah, awesome. Thanks for watching.